Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. So we're up and running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Christian Eriksen. He's super accurate with both feet, Peter, and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or indeed weight. All this allied to great awareness and vision, which make him a massive creative talent. What I really like about Eriksen, though, is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game. He's a trier. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. It's one! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Tries a header! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Ericsson. Oh, that's a waste. Denmark applying all the early pressure. Shapes to shoot! Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And it's Heuberg. 
that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Ericsson. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. And it's played forward. Still goalless. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, he's been flattened there. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Delaney brings the ball forward. Thirty minutes gone. Hoiberg. to get it forward quickly in comes the cross it'll be a throw in forward it goes Finland keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Still waiting for the first goal. Hoists it forward. Shoots! Forward it goes. to pay gets away from his opponents plenty of appeals but the referee is not interested and there's the end of the first half so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And if you're just back from your break... Going for goal! And in it goes! The second half starts straight into life! And that really is...
so, so impressive. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Denmark take the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Delaney brings it forward. Driving on, he could shoot here. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? I think that's offside. Yes, it is. What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And he has shown him a yellow card. It's hit the crossbar! Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's played forward. <laughs> Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. <laughs> He's had a shot! A real chance and a real let-off. That's a good ball to find him. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. And here's Ericsson. Ericsson is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, he's pretty much been a crossing machine, and they're now trying to unplug that. Tries to get it forward quickly. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period, and the score is 1-0. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's got through. But that is good defending. That's been repassed. Has a shot! Oh, and that should have been two. He got two ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Plays it out to the flank. 
keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Has a pop! And that would have been game, set and match. Christensen gets it back. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Here it comes. Vass. Denmark can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. And it's played forward. Time added on will be two minutes. That's great strength. Goes for it! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper... And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Denmark starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucial. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win. championships a special anniversary edition in fact games held across multiple nations a true pan-european tournament that is a reflection of the pan-european nature of the game and this is where it all starts for them 11 players many of them friends some foes during the league season now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be at least for partisan parties the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, a next... Golovin. And he's there to clear it. Russia thwarted in the end. That move lacked any sort of thrust. Golovin. Golovin. Good idea, just poorly executed. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be outmuscled. Danger averted for now. Golovin. Jikia. Oh, 
Lays it out to the flank. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Azar. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And that's been won straight back. He gets past his man. And that has been cleared. And it's Zhirkov. That's just an example of over-committing, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It's Lukaku! It's off target and by quite a way. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Hazard goes up and over. And it's Lukaku. This could fall anywhere. Chikia tries to get it forward quickly. Chance. It's one. A oh, great save. Real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Alderweireld. Vertonghen. Still goalless at the moment. De Bruyne. Vertonghen. Witzel. Tielemans. Gets it back. De Bruyne. Alderweireld. Alderweireld with the crossfield ball. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. And it's Witzel. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Brought forward, how does he try from here? Defenders on the back foot. For Tongan. De Bruyne. Hazard. Chance to break. Out to the left it goes. That is terrific skill. Aimed in towards the centre. Oh, chance! Just took too long getting forward. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back, and they were just too slow. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Hoist it forward. Driving on, he could shoot here. Tielemans demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Vertonghen. Vertonghen goes upfield. Witzel. He's got options out wide. It's a good foot in there. And we hit half time. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Already up and running for the second half. 
Russia can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Well, they can break here. Juba. Tries to switch the play. Shirkov. And the shot! And the defence can get it clear. And it's Lukaku. Witzel. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. And it's played forward. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. like a, a change of approach and it may just freshen things up and here's Lukaku the referee's awarded a free kick De Bruyne well he probably expected to do a lot better considering the position he was in Good ball. Going through. Good ball. Oh, shooting chance! It's in! And finally, he has breathed life into the game. Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. So we have our breakthrough. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And here's Lukaku, looking to force his going for goal! He scored! Belgium are back in business! Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Torgan Azar. Torgan Azar has a look inside the box. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Battles to win it back. Belgium showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Lukaku, Lukaku! Oh, that's a real chance miss. Lukaku has delivered a really costly miss. It could have been their last chance to win it. Alderweireld. And it's De Bruyne. 
Azar. And he's on a charge. Azar. So who's he picking out? In for a header! No, he couldn't find the finish. And more than happy to take the muscular approach. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace, and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect more of the same. Go for it! It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tielemans, Tielemans goes looking. He's picked him out. Torgan Azar. He's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. Oh, the protests are futile. The decision is made. Late, late drama. was just never going to miss. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. <laughs> Having turned the game on its head, now... Over to the left. Golovin, and helps available out wide. And he's there to cut it out. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Well, it's a pretty poor start, there's no disguising it. All they can do is to try to recover it from here on in. It is a tough test. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, we can't dress it up. It's not a nice way of opening the group. They're immediately under pressure to bounce back in the next one. But they can cling to a few positives from this and get right back into the mix, I think.